for more messages coming in. Good morning. Please ask the General Superintendent of Assemblies of God, why is it that Assemblies of God pastors struggle to feed their families? And why is it that their system is not centralized like Pentecost because their pastors are really struggling to make life? This is coming from Joseph. Rev, please answer this for me. Yes. Um, you see, comparing Assemblies of God to Pentecost is like comparing apples to oranges. Pentecost part is centralized system. Okay. So one pastor oversees many churches. Mm. We practice what the New Testament model of pastoring, where each local assembly has a pastor. That, that is a downside. Now, Pentecost, we have close to 4,000 pastors. Pentecost having got half of our number of pastors. Okay. So if you centralize, you worsen the, I mean, the situation for our pastors. So during my tenure, I've just, we guess I adored a vision paper, Christian, the transformation agenda. Mm -hmm. Now, under the first thematic area, re, no, under the second, that is re, uh, rebuild, we are going to establish a special pastor's welfare fund and rural missions fund, where we are going to raise resources to use that to cushion our pastors in the rural areas who are struggling. Okay. Uh -huh. So we cannot be like Pentecost. I mean, uh, we, 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 if we try it, our system will collapse. Mm, mm, it's mm. like the search of Ghana's economy. Okay. Until you correct the search of Ghana's economy, we are more import driven. So you're going we to import fix more. Mm. So, uh, so the only way to correct our, our, our economy is to reduce import and export more. Right. So um, I want to assure the rank and file, we, we, are, we are where we are working towards, so they should be patient with us. We'll, we'll, be able, we'll gradually correct that imbalance in our system. Fantastic. More messages coming in. Please do not call my WhatsApp number. Uh, this pastor made my day. I really appreciate his presence in my life today. And I'm ready to dwell in his teachings for the days of my life. That's very thoughtful of him on your show, Sabina from Impoho. All right. So please, I want to ask the pastor, what's the difference between Old Testament and New Testament? Yeah, Old Testament um, has to do with at the time when God, people went to go through um, the prophets, the Old Testament was when man had sinned against God mm. and uh, man, man, man couldn't reach God. We had to appease God through the blood of animals. Under the New Testament, God has sent his son Jesus Christ to come and die and to pay the price. Mm. So the New Testament is where we have, we have direct fellowship. We are God's children. Right. And then... Um, Yes, like so the grace, the season okay. of grace, mm. where we get things from God, not because of a merit. Grace means, um, grace means unmerited favor. Mm. So that's the clear, sorry, difference between. That's okay, you know, some 